Hello and welcome to another episode of Blackboard Wednesday. I'm your host Jonah. This is where we cover music theory, ideas, concepts, and other tutorials. Um, today we are going to be covering key signatures and what that looks like with all the sharps and flats. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the basic idea behind key signatures is that um, instead of just playing in the key of C, which has all white keys, um, say we want to transpose the song or a piece to another key, say to D flat or G major, um, those other keys are going to have sharps in them, such as G major has an F sharp. Um, and instead of writing that out every single time you see an F in the music, what we do is we write it at the very beginning of the staff and we represent it by a sharp or a flat symbol. And then it just tells us that we're in a certain key and that for every note, say um, in the key of G, since there's an F sharp, we'd write one F sharp at the beginning. And then we know for the rest of the piece, every F that we see is gonna be sharp and that we're in the key of G. So it just makes it easier to write. Um, that's kind of the whole point of key signatures. So uh, let's break it down a little bit. If we're looking at sharps, it's, it's always going to be in the same order. We're going to write it from F, C, G, D, A, E, and then B. Um, so a good, an easy way to memorize that is uh, fat cats go down alleys eating birds. So um, if you see, say, four sharps, it's always going to be in the same order. It's going to be the first four, F, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. Say if you add a fifth, then it's gonna be A sharp, and it always sticks to this order. So um, again, once again, one sharp, F sharp, two sharps, C sharp, and so on and so forth. So it kind of makes it easy to, to memorize, because um, once you get this down, it never changes. Uh, okay, with that being said, now we're gonna go and see what key are we in um, depending on how many sharps there are. So this could, this is where it could get a little tricky, but there's an easy formula that I use that I learned uh, years ago. And what it is is simply, say you have two sharps, right? So that'd be F sharp, C sharp. So the key we're in is simply just gonna be the next letter of the musical alphabet. So A, B, C, D. In this case, C sharp, the letter after C is D, so we'd be in the key of D. So same goes if I add another sharp, that's G sharp, the next letter after G is gonna be A. So now we're in the key of A major if there's three sharps, cause that's F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. And one more is, let's say we have a D sharp, we have, oh, sorry, D sharp, four sharps, so that's F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. The last sharp is D sharp. So the letter that comes after D is gonna be E. So we are in the key of E major if there's four sharps. So we're gonna do a couple of examples. Um, the first one, we're just doing one sharp in the key signature, which means according to this, one sharp is gonna be F sharp. And so the next letter after F is gonna be G. So this would be in the key of G major, right? Okay. And now we're gonna move to our next example, and that is it has four sharps. So what are the four sharps? Well, let's go back to this. One, two, three, four. So it's gonna have an F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and the last sharp is D sharp. So the next letter that comes after D is gonna be E. So now we're in the key of E major. And so anytime we're in the key of E major and we see a D, a G, a C, or an F in the music, it's gonna be sharp unless it's denoted by a natural symbol, which means it goes back to the natural key, which is just the white key. Um, Okay, so that's that's the key signatures with uh, sharps. Now we're gonna do key signatures with flats. Um, kind of the same concept. It always goes in the same order. Uh, the order changes for flats, 
um, and there's another acronym for that. So for flats, I memorized it as it spells out the word bead, B-E-A-D for the first four flats. And then after that, I memorized it as greatest common factor or G-C-F flat. Um, these are a little more rare, um, just having like a C flat or F flat, but um, it is possible to run into some music where there are that many flats. Um, it just depends what you're playing, what your level is at, um, things like that. So um, I know we said with the sharps, it's the next letter after, which determines the key that we're in. So if we're in E sharp is the last sharp in our key signature, the next letter after E is going to be F sharp. And so um, we'd be in the key of F sharp in that case, because there's no black key in between an E and F. It gets a little tricky once you start adding more sharps, but for the most part, um, it just kind of goes to the key of B, which would be after A sharp, or yeah, key of B has A sharp in it, F sharp major, and then C sharp major, which is very uncommon, but uh, it is possible. Um, so with the rule with flats, instead of counting the next letter over, say we have one flat and we're, we have one B flat. Um, sorry, not the best example because uh, I'll get into the, the B flat later. Say um, we have three flats, right? So it's we end on A flat. Instead of going to the next letter after that, which would be B, we simply just go to the second to last flat, which would be E flat. So if there's three flats, we go to the second to last flat, and that's the, that's the key signature we're in. We'd be in E flat major. So, um, okay, with a couple of examples, like I said, the first flat's always an exception. This one you just have to kind of memorize. If there's one flat, which is B flat, the key is gonna be F major. That's just something you have to know. Um, there's no way around it. You just kind of have to memorize that one. But for other ones, say this one, there's four flats, so we're gonna count B, E, A, D, one, two, three, four flats, right? D flat is the last flat in the signature. We're gonna go to the second to last flat, and now that is telling us what key we're in, which is A flat major. So um, it could get a little tricky, but okay, say we add another flat here, so that we start with B flat, we're gonna go to E flat, which is right here. So this has two flats, right? The last flat is E flat. So the second to last flat would be B flat. And that tells us that we're in B flat major. So yeah, that's kind of how it's, it determines what key signature we're in. Um, it's very useful in writing music. Uh, and it's just something that you should know, especially if you're reading uh, sheet music, uh, playing different instruments, things like that, doing notation. It's very crucial that you know these things. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions on this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Um, yeah, and thank you once again.